I said Rocket Man. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, big fan of Elton John. Uh, actually, I found myself listening to his greatest hits the other day, and uh, I never realized how much I loved the song Love Lies Bleeding. Uh, oh, I love one. lies bleeding in my hands. Just got to yeah. pretext this whole thing with this. Don't think that I don't have very taste in music. Don't try to say, oh, it's just he listens to metal and nothing else, because that is not true. I know, like, jack shit about Elton John. You really okay. Don't. I literally didn't know Rocket Man was by Elton John until just now. Wow. Like, yeah, I knew Rocket. the song. Like, you know, I've seen, like, the movie Rocket Man back in the day, like, with, uh... Yeah, yeah. I forget his name that played him and everything, but I love that movie. Like, I like the song and stuff, you know, but I just... I know very little about Elton John. Well, so my bad. Don't, don't, here, here's don't lynch one thing me. you'll you need to know about Elton John. He has been through the ringer with certain things, uh, you know, his house, your house he grew up in, and everything. But you know, he is effectively accepted by many as uh, a British soul man, if you will, uh, in terms of his music. Out, like in terms of his piano playing. He's he's a wonderkin. Like he seeing him play, he's like nothing else. Yeah, uh, it is seriously amazing. And his singing, his voice is also very good as well. Even in his seventies, he's still capable of singing. Has a different singing. type of raspy, but a beautiful voice. Yeah, and um, he's created song after like like classic song after classic song. You know, you know David Bowie, right? He worked a lot with him. Yeah, and also Freddie Mercury as well. Mm-hmm. Freddie Mercury and Elton John were actually really good friends. He actually. Okay. He actually had a name for Elton John that he would only call. I think it was Donna. He called he because he had nicknames for every single person in his life that were always like these female names, like uh, <laughs> except one, John Deacon. John Deacon wouldn't have none of it. And he's like, just call me Deaky. <laughs> that's it. Just call me Deaky. That's uh, my nickname. And that's and that, it. Yeah, that's that. it. But Elton John. Uh, they're doing this, and this is directed by the same director to who that. took over uh, for Brian Singer on Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Dexter Fletcher. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was the Freddie Mercury biopic, and now they're doing this one. And there's also talk that Rami Malek is actually going to appear in this as Freddie Mercury. Right. Uh, because Rami yeah. Malek actually won the Oscar for for playing Freddie Mercury, which i got to say... Based upon the ro- the acting roles I saw last year, I gotta say is actually pretty well merited because he pulled off the role fl- almost flawlessly. And in this, I'm excited to see what Taron Egerton's going to do as Elton John. There's actually <coughs> several characters that appear in this that were in uh, that were in Bohemian Rhapsody, but played by different actors. That's that's the only difference. But uh, they say that you could actually watch. These two, you know, this and Bohemian Rhapsody, this first, and then I think Bohemian Rhapsody, and then uh, you could actually get a uh, get actually a pretty cohesive uh, story out of both of them together, Parallels. which is interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's really so. Cool. So yeah, I they always make it backwards though. <laughs> <laughs> always. So the uh, Elton John movie Rocket Man. We have I've the trailer. Never seen that, so I'm excited. Yeah, we got the trailer queued up here. Let's go. Let's do it. Benny and the Jets. I could hear the whole tune in my head. It was all there, I could see all the notes, and I just had to get it out. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside. What did you say your name was again? My name is. Reggie! Reginald Dwight. Reginald! That's my granddad's name. So that's also his original name, Reginald Dwight. Okay. <clears throat> to be a soul man. You gotta kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you wanna be. He looks like Austin Powers there. Well, I, I, yeah, the original <laughs> thing for Austin Powers was he yeah, was based off of Elton John. What? Yeah. His, especially his look. You be the best selling so artist in America if you desire. I was trying to do something bold. Why are you so shiny? Oh, the troubadour, yes. Yep. Can you even play the piano in those? Yes. Of course you can. Let them know who you are. And just don't kill yourself with drugs. So how does it feel uh, to be a star? My it's my all-time favorite. Last. Let's just enjoy it while we can. So 
sleeping arrangements, kid. Uh, all of this is gone. I just hope you realize you're choosing a life of being alone forever. You don't you want to just sing with all this ridiculous paraphernalia? People don't pay to see Reg White. They pay to see Elton John. Sorry. I know. Oh, because I died so. Didn't realize that was him either. Yeah, how much pressure I'm under. I'm not I'll still be collecting my 20% long after you've killed yourself. Maybe I should have tried to be more ordinary. You were never ordinary. Ah, uh, such great music. Yeah, learn that one on the piano. Yes! Ah, oh, the Dodgers outfit. Yes. I remember the pictures of that. That was awesome. Is that a real thing is? Yeah, he, okay. at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> at Dodger Stadium, he came out in That's a awesome. full sequenced like full sequenced Dodger outfit with a bat that had all the that was bedazzled all to hell and he just comes out and just like ha ha like like gets up to bat and everything. It was awesome. I love the I loved those like seeing his outfits and just how flamboyant it for boisterous. Oh yeah. He doesn't care and I love it. Yeah, and that's that's one thing about Elton John that Isn't he from England? Yeah, originally from England. Uh he uh he actually um relocated here to the States for a little while. I think he had a an estate in uh, Los Angeles for a little while. I think, but yeah. he moved back to the UK to be closer to his family cuz I think his mother, uh, I think most recently his mother died. Uh, I can't remember when she passed, but... That, and he has a kid now. So. Well, yeah, yeah, he does have a child. So, that's, and it's just interesting to hear Elton John's story and where he came from. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people say that, you know, music, like, musical talent is something that, you know, everyone has. In mm. some ways, I can see that, but at the you same time, you can bring it out in yourself. Like, you can, but I do accept yes. the universal principle that great talent can come literally from anywhere. Yes, great talent, like even okay. There's actually a singer in Africa. I forget his name, but he was born albino. Mm. He was born with with pale white skin, per, uh, like the pink eyes and everything. What? And he is, yes, and he actually Jeez. is like considered by many to be one of the best singers ever to come out of Africa. And he, his song actually appeared in the Muhammad Ali biopic that starred Will Smith. It was actually the song that was playing whenever he beat uh, George Foreman at the end. Mm -hmm. And it was the song is beautiful. It's called Tomorrow. And just to see that because he was actually persecuted against and actually at one point they tried to kill him. because what? Like people tried to kill him because... In Africa, certain tribes consider that a great, a great blight and an illness and a sickness, and it had to be gotten rid of. So and they were, and they actually plotted to kill him. Yeah. yeah, and he was like persecuted his entire life, but yet he rose up and became this great singer, this great, this great vocalist, and he projected his pain through his through his music. I mean, that's that's one thing that makes a great artist. Unfortunately, in a lot of ways, is pain. Pain can sometimes bring out True. the music that can touch the soul and reach people. Because can, people, I mean, they relate. They do. They do. And they hear a song that I've heard people say, uh, Johnny Cash actually uh, got a lot of fan letters uh, from people who were in prison saying that they thought about killing themselves in prison and his songs saved their lives. His music saved them. People sitting on the side of the road with a gun in the passenger side seat. They turn on the radio and they hear a song that touches them and reaches them. And it keeps them going. Keeps yeah. them. It, it, it's the power of music. Yeah, it's a persistence. It's a persistence of of, pe of humanity. Yeah. And that's, what, that's so beautiful. And I love that idea of music being able to reach people like that. And that's one reason why I like the fact that I, I can play music in some ways. Because... I can play a song for somebody, and no, I love it. Yeah, they can, and they can sing along with me, and we can just have fun and have a good time. Some and cold all play that. and all that stuff. I always I think it. about my it. lyrics whenever stuff like that comes up, and I'm like, that would be so weird to have somebody be like, "Yo, I heard your song, Twisted Delight, and like it saved my life, bro." And it's like, a song about murdering people saved your life? What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, 
Have I'm you talked to anybody? Like, like maybe you should them, talk to somebody. <laughs> uh. No, no, no. Any song can save someone's life. I mean, heck, Metallica. Someone, someone listened to Sanitarium by Metallica, which is literally about being locked up and studied in a room by doctors. Yeah. And someone can listen to that and be saved. Because... Uh, it always blew me away when I realized what one was about. And like, and I was like, oh shit, that's a dark song. Oh yeah, it's about a yeah, it's, <laughs> it's about someone who it's... stepped on a landmine and, and lost just... all his limbs and his sight and his hearing and doesn't know what the fuck's going what? on. It's a yes. pain. What? Yeah, and yeah, it's dark as hell. Well, it's it's actually based off of an off of an actual patient that that happened to. Yeah. James heard about that patient and wrote lyrics. That he thought fit that person's, you know, that what that person was living through. I mean, that's a hard thing to really just. That's a hard thing to really imagine, and to yeah. have it put into a song like one, which uh, it it goes through a lot. It goes through like the contemplation of humanity, contemplation of life, and then it eventually feeds into this rage that we all we all feel at one point in our life, where we just we just uh, it. It when the end we realize our rage is futile because, in the end, I mean, all our rage can matter. sometimes contribute to yeah. is is just more suffering. Yeah, and it's sure. it's a constant vicious cycle. I mean, they call it the endless waltz, the endless waltz of humanity, which is, which is war, peace, revolution, war, peace, revolution. And when you look at history, especially human history throughout, you know, ever since civilization came into being, you know. It, that's how it's always been. You know, there's times of war, there's times of peace, and then there's times of revolution whenever whenever peacetime is seen as a, a farce by some. And even though even though nowadays... In my opinion, it's also kind of a simplistic way of viewing things. Well, well. It, well that's that, that's what it is, though. It's not meant yeah. to be like some grand, like, uh, magna, like it's not like I'm, I'm writing a book literally called War and Peace or The Endless Waltz. I'm just giving like a basic synopsis of how most historians view time, how we have viewed time throughout history. And how it consistently. I guess those are the most yes. three like significant on like a viewing from like the outside events within human history. But like you got to look past all that to find the things that make it worth being here for. Well, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, so yeah. just war by learning. Well, li by learning stuff. about our history, we're less likely to repeat it, especially the yeah. bad stuff. That's just like you look at the Mongol conquest and the 20 million people who died back in the 1300s. That's a whole lot of the human population gone like that, all from conquest. And what was gained God. from it? What was gained from it? Yeah, the Mongols can officially say they pulled off what no one else could, but does it, but does it really matter in history? Because all that suffering, what does it lead to? What does it lead to in the end? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, that here here we are talking about Rocket Man. But since we're already like real off topic, and I wanted to just say that uh, one thing I will say about uh, Elton John's lyrics is that it's a very underrated uh, metal band. I'm a big fan of called Kill Whitney Dead. Mm -hmm. They have a song called Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tony what? Hold me closer, <laughs> Hold Tony me closer. Danza. Yeah, who's who's Tony Danza? Uh, Tony Danza the, is a actor. Uh, he played uh, who? Like, who's the boss? The, yeah, like who's the boss? And, uh, he uh, he had a, a say, he was also in what Taxi. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. He okay. was the boxer guy who was always who lost so many fights. He was just yes, like, okay, uh, I'll bring up his out. picture for you real quick. Yeah, recognize Tony him. Danza. Uh, he also in Who's the Boss? He also <laughs> had the saying, "Oh hey, hey oh," like. Anytime someone came in, like, started to talk and jabber, and he couldn't keep it, he like, oh, hey, hey, oh, let's calm down now. I like let's, it. Let's calm talk. Let's jets. talk about this. Bring it down. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. Come on. Call me a jet. Hey, he's a lot older than I thought he was. Oh, yeah. Tony Danz is up there, man. He's in his, uh... Yeah, like, a lot of his pictures are from, like, now when he's a lot older, but... Okay. Yeah, I see him. Oh, okay. I recognize him now. Yes. I've seen him in a few things. Yeah, that's yes. apparently a commonly misheard version of those lyrics. Hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. Hold me closer, Tiny Tony Dancer. Dancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a message from Jacob uh, about uh, about some stuff on the production. We just we just my wrapped Jacob? and everything. Oh yes. I say my my Jacob because I figure you know like a bunch, so I don't. Know. I well, my middle name is Jacob, so oh, <laughs> we discussed that yesterday. We discussed that yesterday. Have. So yeah, I don't. I it's just yeah, our Jacob. Yeah, the, yeah. We'll just say he's ours. Yeah, Mama. our Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him first. Oh, wait, no, he's you saw him Jacob. first. You saw him first. No. 
<laughs> okay. But, <Wait>. uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Rocket Man. I'm excited for this. Elton. Yeah. Well, El- I want to see this. Uh, it comes out May 31st. There's a lot of good stuff coming out. May oh, yeah. and June and July. Hey, it's that so summer... Much. It's that summer bus. Man, I'll probably I mean, watch yeah. this just to try to learn more about Elton John, since I should probably know I more about I want you to, because like, I want you to get a little bit of a respect for him, because uh, like, he's honestly like really, really good. After credit scene, Freddie Mercury, I'm putting a team together, darling. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. I can just see it now. Like, all of a sudden, he's just like, I am a rocket man. Burning out his fumes out here alone. Very nice. Do I know you? You do, actually. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddie Mercury, and I'm putting a team together, darling. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd just be too good to be true right there. Mm, I agree with Bowie the second and... comment petition for David Bowie after this. Yes, yes. Another Bo- another music film. Uh, actually, you know, Dexter Fletcher could direct that one, too, and he could call it his... Ziggy uh, Stardust? Yeah. Oh, either <laughs> that or, Z- or, or, just, uh, or just call it... Uh, a tale, uh, tales from, uh, tales from Stardust, tales from the stars, Ziggy Stardust, or just call it Stardust, or yeah, something or like Star- that. Yeah. Actually, no, that'd I think really that, cool. I think that'd be too confusing because of the Stardust film that came out in the two thousands. Could be, yeah, yeah. Uh, or just, just call it Ziggy. Bowie. Oh well, yeah, Bowie, yeah. Bowie, or Ziggy Stardust. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I think they just need to do Bowie. Yeah, just yeah. Because that's his thing. Yeah, David Bowie. I, I, I want to see, like, some of the stuff that Let's he dance. got into. Put, Put on your, your red shoes and dance, dance to the blues. I can't remember them off the Let's top of my head, but I remember yeah. my buddy was real into David Bowie oh, in high school, and he told me at least a couple of hilarious stories about him. Yeah. He's sure. got a few. Him there, and Mick Jagger and Yeah, there was one. Years. There was one I, I actually know. This one actually happened. They actually have an image of this. David Bowie was up on stage, and he was singing... And he was like looking up in the sky. Someone threw a sucker up onto the stage at David Bowie, and the stem hit him right in the eye. Oh. Hit him right in the middle of the eye. I'd be so upset. I'm sure and David Bowie's a nice guy, but I would not have reacted so nice about well, that. Well, <laughs> there's well, there's a reason actually. If you look at David Bowie after a certain date in his life, yeah. he actually has two different colored eyes, I always and that's about why. That. That's, That's why he had a yeah he had a uh, he had his a uh, uh, he had his uh, cornea replaced. Damn. Yeah, and it was it was a whole thing. No, my eye won't stop water. Yes, he that's the reason why. Well, yeah. Well, to me, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, this one right here, this this image right here though, uh, I wish all stuff that was thrown at singers could uh, could wind up like this. Watch, watch this. This to me is like one of the most epic scenes ever. John Coffey. Yeah, watch what happens. Watch in the distance. Watch. <laughs> like a boss. Hell yeah. Like a boss. <laughs> didn't even have to, did, like, but didn't even look at it. nine times out of ten, does that happen? No. <laughs> Shunk. It's, it's not Drink. even a can, and it's straight up a cup. A cup, yeah. And just that catches it That is an out OG the base. thing. Yeah, oh that's awesome. I loved it. But if that would have went bad, and it would have just hit him, that would have not went so hot. <laughs> God, that's awesome. So... <laughs> If only it could all be like that. But instead, sometimes you get a beer in the hand, other times you get a sucker stem in the ass. You know why I feel like he managed to pull that off? Why is that? Cocaine. <laughs> He's like, I'm high on cocaine. Yeah. Uh, uppers will let you do shit like that. that that's <laughs> like, true. It's very true. It is very, very true. <laughs> God. All right, well. It may not be, but <laughs> so I've seen some people do some crazy shit when they were on Adderall and stuff. So. But as tired as I am, I'm about to that point. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. This was uh, Rocket Man, the official trailer. Uh, the Elton Super John uh, the Elton John movie that is coming out May 31st. I'm excited. Uh, if you all are excited, let us know in the comments down below. And before we go, Chelsea, right here, this uh, lovely blonde What's lady up, sitting uh, to my left, uh, she has her own channel, and if you want to check it out, uh, link right down there in the description. You'll see it. Should be the first it thing you see. A lot. Oh, oh yes, uh, and I, we're also going to be doing other projects with Chelsea here soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
And we're gonna do a mix of a bunch of different things. Yes, but we we're are. We're really excited, excited for the firearms and stuff, especially with this warm weather coming up. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot. We gonna have some fun. Yeah. We will be creating stuff. media, yeah. if you will. Yes, <laughs> it's the media group. Yes. So I guess yeah, we're gonna finish it here, guys. So until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. Chelsea. And we will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.